Okay, so today we're going to pick up where we left off with threat and vulnerability management. So in part two, we're going to talk about installing the agent. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and I've logged into the MSSP console. I'm presented with two options. I can go to this PCI version or vulnerability management. I'm going to go to vulnerability management here. And once I'm here, I want to click on the settings in the top left hand corner. Move this mic out of the way a little bit. And once I'm in settings, I'm going to go to sensors. So agents, which is what we're going to install on the local machines are listed here. And we're going to click on Nessus agents. We'll go into Nessus scanner and Nessus network monitor and in, in, in detail later. Um, but in the meantime, first thing we want to do is go here and let's make sure we got a group. I'm going to use the technology interpreters group. And so we'll talk about groups and creating those and scans and stuff like that later. But the first thing we need to do is let's get an agent on a machine in the top right hand corner. You can see where it says add Nessus agent. We're going to click here. And we're going to copy the key because we'll need this later. Now, this is going to redirect us away from the platform to the Nessus download page. This page is publicly available, so you can bookmark this page. Once I'm here, there, once again, we've talked about the link scanner, the Nessus network scanner, the two I, I just mentioned before. We're going to click on the tenable Nessus agent. Okay. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to scroll down, and it's a lot here. We're going to scroll past this first section. And we'll go to where it says right here. This is for Windows. And if you want me to do a tutorial on Linux or Mac OS, then let me know. I'll see if I can get those tutorials done for y'all. So, but in the meantime, we're going to be installing the agent on Windows. And you notice it says like it's easy to overlook this, but it does have Windows 10 and Windows 11 right here. Uh, if you're using an older 32 bit version of Windows, here is the installer for that. You'll use that. But for us and for most, you're going to use the MSI, which is going to be here. So let's click here. We'll accept the terms. And then we'll go ahead and download that agent version. Now I will cover scripting the agent installs and stuff like that in the future. So you can see this is downloading and everything. So there's just so many ways I can go with this tutorial series. But in the meantime, I'm just going to do a manual download. So let's give this a second to finish and we'll be right back. Okay, so that finally finished. Let's go ahead and click on it and we'll download this right here or open that. Whichever way you choose. And so it's going to go ahead and prompt us to do the installation here. Go through, accept the terms, click next, next there. I'm going to do a typical uh, install. Haven't really found a reason to do the custom at this point. All right. And so then it's going to ask for the key. So, and this is something, remember I told you we copied that. So just in case you didn't remember, copy, this is the linking key. You'll need this from right here. So once we have the linking key, let's go back. Server is going to be the URL right here cloud.tenable.com so let's go ahead and copy that and then group remember i told you a little bit about groups let's go ahead and click on agent group and the name of the group is going to be technology interpreter so i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to copy it here and the reason i'm doing this is because we want this to load it directly into my group right here so once i've got this i'll click next and i'll click install and we'll give this just a second to work through the installation all right, warning, the install folder already exists. This is because I had the Tenable Agent. I uninstalled it for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and click yes. We're okay with that. And we'll let it copy the new files. All right, so now that we've finished, we'll go ahead and click finish there. And at this point, um, let's refresh and let's see if the agent actually appears. Ah, I don't have agents. So let's give it a second. Let's do some troubleshooting. It may honestly, it may take just a few seconds. It's not instant, but I'm going to pause and just refresh a few times to make sure it comes up. So even though I entered the credentials or entered the key and also the server, it still didn't link. So we're going to do what's called linking it. So I'm going to open a PowerShell right here and I'm going to run it as administrator. Okay. I'll accept it here. And now once I'm here, Tenable installs and C colon program files, Tenable Nessus agent. So I'm going to go CD space c colon backslash program and i'll tab that out <laughs> i didn't realize i had a, a pro, pro folder program files tenable nessus all right and so once i get to the folder i'll do a directory to list the contents here and so i want to run the linking command so that same command i just ran i'm going to actually run it here in tenable uh, using command line. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit to make that a lot easier. Okay, that should be a little easier for everybody to see. Now, with that being the case, I'm going to do a dot backslash. And this is the same. I don't even know if this was required, but in PowerShell, this is what you want to do. You can also do this in command line, but I want to take this time because I do most of my stuff in PowerShell. So dot backslash, 
uh, Nessus. I'm going to type this, and what I want to do is run the Nessus CLI command. And this is the command we use to link it and perform actions on Nessus agent. All right, and then I'm going to say agent and link. Then I'm going to do a tag tag key equals. And this is where I'm going to need the linking key from here. So I'm going to click on my Nessus agents here, add agents. I'm going to copy the key again. And I'm going to paste the key. All right. And then I want to say host, tag, tag, host equals cloud.tenable.com. Tag, tag, port, because it needs to know what port is going to communicate on 443. And then finally, tag, tag, groups equals and uh, let's see if I use two words I need to put like a single quote around it so I'll say technology technology interpreters all right single quote right there and I believe I don't need to double quote on the end so let's double check my syntax let's look at the groups one more time make sure that is correct technology interpreters with s all right, and so I'm going to run the linking command. And if my syntax is wrong, it'll let me know at this point. Okay, so I'll click here. All right, okay, there it is. Not sure what happened, but I'm waiting for some kind of feedback to, to come back in the console. So let's wait for a second. Okay, successfully linked to the cloud. All right, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. So now when I go back to my groups, I should see I'll refresh. Let's see if I actually have two in here. If not, then that means I got something wrong with the syntax. Note the syntax is correct. So now when I click on this TI desktop four, that is intendable. And so I'm going to stop right here because I'm going to break this down into individual series. But that is how you link your uh, device to the tenable vulnerability management. It used to be tenable IO. Now it's tenable vulnerability management. That is how you link it to the console. And so in the next tutorial, we're going to actually start creating our first scan. So if this was helpful and you're enjoying the series and you want to learn really about vulnerability management, using a you know one of the top products then please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching